Hello everyone and welcome to another video in our SPSS series and in this video we'll be looking at how do we forecast using the exponential smoothing forecasting method using SPSS 29 but this could be easily done with older version of SPSS. Unfortunately SPSS does not have a point and click option for exponential smoothing or holds method. So for this, we have to enter the appropriate program command, hold syntax, to generate the result. So this is the file that I'll be using for exponential smoothing, and we're going to be forecasting sales based on the exponential smoothing or holds method. To generate the syntax, as we said, or the command, you have to go to File, New, and choose Syntax from here. So one more, one more time, File, New, Syntax. SPSS will bring this window over here, where we have syntax ourselves. I'm going to walk you through the syntax. It's a simple four lines. So we're going to start by typing x smooth. See, this is the exponential smoothing. And we're going to put space and type the variable that we're going to be doing the exponential smoothing at, which is, as you can see from here, it's sales. Now we need three commands. One, to specify the model, whether it's exponential smoothing or halt method. Two, to specify alpha, which is the smoothing constant for exponential smoothing, or gamma, which is the trend smoothing constant for halt method. And of course, we have to specify the initial value over here. So let's start with the method. So we're going to say forward slash model equal and we're going to type single for exponential smoothing and you're going to type halt for the halt method so here we're going to be doing single which is the exponential smoothing the second option or the second command is basically alpha which let's assume it's 0.7 in our case, so whatever alpha is. And for the halt method, instead of alpha, you will type gamma, and then you put the value. And the third line would be the initial value. Sorry about that, initial. And here we have to Put the initial value, which is the first forecasted method, and remember, usually for exponential smoothing, if it's not given, we take the first value as the exponential smoothing first forecasted value. That's all what we have to enter, and I'll repeat, the only difference between exponential smoothing and halt method is, instead of single here, you're going to put halt, and instead of alpha, you will use gamma. Now that we're done, all we have to do is click on run over here. And to run this command, an SPSS will create two extra variables over here. One is the forecasted values and one is the error. So if I click run, you will see that SPSS will give me some Summary, the initial smoothing state, the parameters, alpha, error, and so on. If I close this, you will see that it gives me the forecasted value. The first one is the same because we enter it. So it's the same one because of the calculation of formula. But after that, you see that the forecasted value change and the error changes. So that's how we do forecasting on smoothing or halt methods using SPSS. So to repeat the steps, all we have to do is go to File, 
new and syntax and as I said we have to enter single for the model if you're doing exponential smoothing and alpha which is 0.7 in our case and the initial value for hold let me show you quickly what do we have to do the only difference is we're gonna put hold here instead of single and we have to enter gamma as we said equal 0.3 same initial value and if we run it we're gonna get the hold method instead of the exponential smoothing method thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos on statistical analysis using SPSS and Excel